Hi friends, good to see you again today. I've got a few stories for us to read and then I'm going to go over a project that I would like you to work on uh, today. All right, the first story is called Easter is Coming. Easter is coming. It's almost here. It's the day we celebrate God's love. This special day comes every spring, but its beginning was long, long ago before the world was even created. God made the world and Adam and Eve too, but they did the one thing God said not to do. That was the very first sin. It brought sadness and badness into the world, but God had a plan to make things right again. Adam and Eve didn't know, but we know Easter is coming. Through the years, God sent special messengers called prophets. They told people to trust God because he had a plan. Some people listened, but many did not. These people didn't know, but we know Easter is coming. Then when the time was just right, God sent Jesus, his son, to save us for our, from our sins. He came as a baby, not a soldier or a king. God's perfect plan had begun. The cows didn't know and the sheep didn't know, but we know Easter is coming. Jesus grew up, up, up from a baby to a boy to a man. He loved God and all the people, even those who didn't love him. Wherever he went, Jesus helped and healed, and he taught everyone about God. Because Jesus knew, and we know too, Easter is coming. Jesus was good in every way. He never did anything wrong, not one single sin. Many people loved Jesus and welcomed him, but some leaders didn't believe Jesus was God's son, and they wanted to stop him. Those leaders didn't know, but we know Easter is coming. One night, Jesus and his friends shared a special feast. They prayed together and ate together. Jesus even washed their feet. But one man named Judas wasn't really Jesus' friend. Judas sneaked away to meet with the mean leaders and to set a trap for Jesus. Judas didn't know, but we know Easter is coming. After the feast, Jesus went to pray. He knew what was coming, and he was sad and afraid. Then an angry crowd rushed up to Jesus. They grabbed him and took him away. That angry crowd didn't know, but we know Easter is coming. Those people told lies about Jesus. They said he had to die. So Jesus was put on a rough wooden cross and all the world's sins were placed on him. Every bad thing, every mean word, every lie, Jesus was punished for them all. When he died, it was a dark, sad day. Because the world didn't know, but we know Easter is coming. Jesus' friends placed his body in a tomb. For two days they waited and worried and wondered, how could this be God's plan? They didn't know, but we know Easter is coming. When the sun rose on Sunday morning, Jesus' friends hurried back to the tomb. When they arrived, oh, what a surprise! The tomb was empty inside. Jesus wasn't there. He had risen. Those friends then knew, and we know too, the very first Easter had come. That's why we celebrate Easter, to thank God for his great big love and to remember what Jesus did to save us. Because Jesus died, all of our sins can be forgiven. And because he rose, we can live with him in heaven. You see, God always knew, and now you know too. That's why Easter is coming. And we celebrated that um, on Sunday, didn't we, with our families? And I wanted to, um, to read that book to, to remind you the true meaning of Easter. All right, I'm going to set that one down, and I've got one more to do for us today. This one's just more of a fun one because we can't forget about Mrs. Woodgate, how she loves the mice so much. So this one is called Happy Easter Mouse. The night before Easter, Mouse decorates some eggs. When he wakes up on Easter morning, he finds a yellow egg under his covers. Who put those red eggs on the counter? He wonders. Mouse spies a few blue eggs under the rocking chair and four orange eggs that are on the sofa. Who balanced all those purple eggs on the table? Mouse loves the green eggs that he finds on top of the desk. He looks around. Who's hiding in all those eggs? Here's a clue. It's Bunny! Happy Easter, Mouse, he says. The end. All right, 
Now, next, I'm going to go over our project that I would like you to work on. Just like we've worked on at school during our circle time, and each month we do different patterns for our numbers for our calendar, I would like you to give that a try today. You're going to need this sheet, so it's called a, a field of patterns. So I'd like you to write your name up here at the top. And then, I just did a few as an example, but you can choose any colors that you would like. So remember with our AB pattern, that's where we choose two colors. So I decided to do red, yellow, red, yellow. And then with my crayons, I would finish the pattern. Red, yellow, red, yellow, red. For the ABC pattern, we'll need three different colors. So your choice. I chose green, purple, orange. What would come next? Can you help me? Green, purple, orange, green, purple, orange. Awesome. And then our AAB pattern, we'll need two colors for that. So I chose blue and red. So I would do blue, blue, red, blue, blue, red, blue, blue, red. Or maybe yours will be yellow, yellow, green, yellow, yellow, green. Again, your choice. You can use the same colors as me or different. And then the last one at the bottom, it's ABB. So we'll need two colors for that. And then you'll start with one color and then do two of the same next to each other. So I chose purple, yellow, yellow, purple, yellow, yellow, purple, yellow, yellow. So have fun with it. Give it a try. And if you want, you can always try some more different patterns um, that are your favorites that you can do on the back. So enjoy it. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye.